from the Cast Couple. Hey guys, it's Chase from the Cast Couple. Hi guys, it's Chase Marin. from the Cast Couple. Hi guys, my name's Chase. Hey Marin. And we're the Cast Couple. And this morning, we are at the Taronga or the Wildlife Retreat at Taronga Zoo. Uh, we did a morning tour this morning of the zoo, which was really cool. You guys will see just a few pictures from that. We kind of took a couple little clips, but nothing like substantial. Yeah. Then we came back and had breakfast, which we took just a few videos at, which was really, really good. This is good. Now we are getting ready to check out and head back into Taronga Zoo for another fun-filled day. We're going to see the sea lion show at 11, so we got to get moving here just in a little mm -hmm. bit. So, yeah, we will catch you guys in the zoo. zoo. Um, so, you know, people are. Um, <laughs> this is the live This is a wire bird. She's two. Regina George over there is four. They live to there about six. They're called. Cool. Got a bit of stuff on their face. They're called cool Tasmanian devils because uh, originally they were all over. The sense of smell is the strongest sense. That's why you can see that sniffing, sniffing, sniffing. Um, um, they, originally they were all across Australia, and um, but the dingoes saw them off the mainland, and no dingoes in Tasmania, or foxes actually, and that's why um, they're all in Tasmania. They're called devils because when the British arrived with their lanterns. breakfast now for at Megal the breakfast buffet. So we both got like the literal same thing. So we'll show you Chase's plate and he'll point to the, his foods. This is my little fork. So we got our fruit salad. We got scrambled eggs. We've got um some of the one I had at dinner last night, the squash, um salami, bacon, a pancake. A pretty sure it's a corn fritter, maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna find out. And a little baby sausage. And I got maple syrup and peaches. All right, Chase. We're in the zoo. We're in the jungle. And we're on Chase's favorite part of the zoo. The playground. <laughs> Sorry, wake you up on my screen. <laughs> I think he's I think he's doing so like Oh yeah? Is that because pre-sale tickets go on sale tomorrow? He knows. <laughs> oh yeah. Maybe she's gotta go to the bathroom. No. Baby now we got bad bad. Hey! Gets copyrighted. <laughs> Thinking about it. 
is of age. Please make him very welcome with his trainer, Renee, today. <laughs> now, Murph here is a California sea lion, and he relocated to us all the way from a zoo in Queensland when he was about five years old. At 19 and a half, he is pretty much as old as a wild California sea lion would get. However, living in the zoo, he can live almost up to another 10 years or so, hopefully. Now, a really important part of looking after the animals that we care for is making sure they are healthy. And the best way to do that is by teaching them to participate in their own daily health care with us. Teeth. It is really important that our animals are comfortable with full body inspections. And working so closely with his trainers means that Murphy has no problems at all, laying really nice and still so that Renee can look over his entire body. Now we can train our seals to take x-rays like this. For our female seals, we can also teach them to participate in ultrasounds when they're pregnant. Positioning like this is obviously a really vulnerable position for a seal like Murph, but he's got no problems at all, like I said, in laying nice and still so that his trainer can have a nice good look at him. Now the reason that we can do this with our seals is because we train them based on the sounds of our California sea lions barking at night. And they are one of the only species that makes that loud, sharp bark, but most people think all seals sound like that. <laughs> Thank you, Peppa. He's out here with his trainer. Dana, what about a big welcome for these two? Now, believe it or not, you, I, and Peppa, we've all got something in common. Have a look at your hands. Now check out Peppa's front flipper. In that flipper, he has the exact same bone structure that our hands have. Now, most people think of a seal's flippers as being awkward for moving around on the land, but an eared seal like Peppa can actually get around with quite a lot of ease. So let's see as he goes for a walk today. Using all four flippers underneath his body, Pepper makes his way to the top of the wharf with ease. Of course, it's in the water where we see how amazing their flippers really are. Come on down, Pepps. What Pepper's showing you now is a natural behaviour known as bowing or porpoising. It's a really energy efficient way for a seal to travel. Every time he jumps out of the water, he's taking a breath of air. This really comes in handy for Pepper when he's chasing down prey or if he was getting away from predators. Very strong, Pep. Well, I think Pep has done such a great job today. Why don't we say goodbye to him and Dana? Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> Now obviously Storm looks really different to the California sea lions we've met. Of course he's a sea lion just the same, meaning he's got one layer of fur. He's also an eared seal that is the same as all of the seals we house here at Taronga. You might notice those little ears on either side of his head as he's moving around today. A seal with an external ear like that is an eared seal. They can outrun you over a short distance because they have those large front flippers and their hips that they can walk up on, as you can see him moving around very easily today. Now, especially a juvenile, around four or five years old, they'll start changing colour to a chocolate brown. You can see at the moment Storm is not quite cream. He's definitely not silver. He's kind of a... He is part of a group of seven long-nosed fur seals that we have here at Taronga. At the moment, he's only six years of age, so he's still a juvenile himself. Um, but hopefully in the future, he will be have the opportunity to breed. Now today, Abel is showing us behavior called shape recognition. And we tra train this behavior, not just for the management of our seals, but also so that they can learn to problem solve and learn. So the aim of the game is that Abel needs to find his shape, which is the green cross. He needs to touch his nose to it. We call this a target. When the whistle is blown twice, he has to find that shape. Now each time he does this, there is going to be more shapes added so that Abel can really test his skills in identifying that shape. 
see how it goes. Oh, awesome, you're doing really good today. Now I did say we don't just train this for the animals to learn and problem solve, it's also for management. So if we have three seals in any pool, we might have three trainers go to collect those seals. And the seal needs to report to the correct shape. And that's how they know which trainer they're going to be going with. They are really acrobatic animals. They're very, very powerful and strong. And we want to make sure that living here in the zoo, they get to practice some of those uh, skills in physical exercise. So today, you can see that all of the behaviours we train are really important. Some of them are for healthcare, like the mouth open for a health check. Thanks, Diego. <laughs> But like I said, they can also be a lot more challenging and complicated. So Diego is going to demonstrate a behaviour today, we call it a high bow. What he's going to do is jump into the water and jump back out to touch his nose on the boy hanging in the centre of the pool. <laughs> to do this though, we need everybody's help. So on the count of three, I'm going to get everyone to yell, jump Diego as loud as you can. But Diego's not going to make the jump from here, so you want to get a nice big run up there, buddy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, we're gonna shout out Jum Diego on three, alright? One, two, three! I think he was shouting with you. Diego, you weren't meant to join in, you were meant to jump. We might have to ask him what happened there, buddy. Was that loud enough for you? I think you're right. I think he needs it to be a little bit louder. So why don't we try that again? Kids, why don't you try and put your hands in the air too? That might get him off that rock. On three. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> awesome So we just watched the sea lion show and now we're watching the pelicans over here. It's Nigel. It's Nigel. Nemo and Dory were in there. Alright guys, do you see the little penguins? Do you see the little penguins? This is a sneak peek for tomorrow. We're gonna see a ton tomorrow. Does <laughs> anyone want to come say hi? No, it looks like they want us to be shouting. Oh. You know, slide up. Throws it down. She threw all the things down. She so picked up the fish and threw it down, and she's gonna have it later. So we found a red panda. He's out today. We were up here yesterday. She went in his den. We have found it the others. The easy and small clock. Hi, others. Hi. 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 Oh, there's a 
there's a big me hippo. <laughs> Here's a better shot of the otters. Oh, he's, he's being cute. Hi. Hi. What you doing? Looks like he's cleaning his hands. Are you washing your hands? For dinner. Breakfast. Alright guys, do you see him? Do you see him? What is he? Tarbungo. Tarbungo? So we're at the leaf monkeys now. They're all sitting up there. Right there. Looks like they're eating. So here's the Indian condor. He's like in the back there, just kind of staring. You know he's part of the free flight birds presentation? That's terrifying. All the way over there is the tortoise. Oh. Munchin. It's the sun bear is in the hammock. Big fan. That's gonna be his new profile picture. I don't know either. So now we're watching the giraffes. Taking a widow break. Sitting at the watering hole. Drinking not water. This is my watering hole. Took a hole to pee in. Thank you for getting that on video, my guy. <laughs> so the lions are home. Yeah, it's a baby. Oh. Huh? They're like cuddling together. Mm -hmm. We're at the chimpanzees now. One of my favorite places. Do you see where the baby went? Is the baby still over here? Uh, I think so, yeah. So we're back in the reptile house. We have a so rhinoceros much better. iguana. Short right lens away. Really? Yeah. In here? Stuff? Yeah. I can't see in here. Forgot my sunglasses around. White lips tree frog. Yeah, he's I don't see such the a I don't see the red eyed tree frog. No. Which is concerning. But the white lipped one is right there. The dwarf tree frog is right here and he's super tiny. Where? On the wall. There's another one over here. I don't see the dragon. You don't see a dragon? No. That's a yellow spotted bell frog. You. Do you see two of them? Yeah. I don't like that. Let's see, you got a. Just pronounce it, Chase. Yellow pussy. Ah, uh, that butchered that. I don't see it. It was underneath the leaves yesterday yeah. too. So here we have the Hunter and River Turtle. Okay, so he's got... I don't know, he's got a... There's a turtle. Yeah, there's a turtle. There's no spot. So what you are. Are you Irwin's turtle? 
Nothing like that, but we say it isn't too foggy, maybe. It's well, the thing on the bottom is making it. Yeah. And then there's all like dinosaurs in the back. Tuatara? Tuatara. Don't see a Tuatara. The reticulated pipe on his back in that corner over there. Getting some good photos? Oh yeah. Hey! You're much cuter than a snake. Hey, yeah. Alright guys. Here we have a coastal titan. tortoises. There's one under that too. Under that big like, leaf thing. Mm -hmm. See him? There's a the death adder. <gasps> Where? Do you guys see the death adder? So the green anaconda is in the water again. Is this his head or his butt? Red-bellied black snake. He's got a friend in there too, but he's over there. This one's curled up right here. Here's another rhinoceros. Mm -hmm. Let's hope someone scratches on the inside. Oh, this happens. We have a Stimson's python. Did you see any of the dragons or anything? Uh, I didn't see that one, but the skink is in the back here, right between the rocks. There's two of them. Yeah, there's a python. Curious if the python. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So inland. Type There's two of them. Oh, the pygmy python is under the log here. Potato up there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He loves sleeping potatoes. We have one of those outside of our room. Yeah. You guys definitely saw plenty of them. 
So we're at back at the Korobi Frog. They kind of look like the dark frogs. Yeah, a little bit. So we're in the Australia section. We've got an emu back there. There's some kangaroos up here. And another email. There. Oh, it's up Over there. The there you go. You can see now. There's a little wallaby. Kitty, kitty. There's some more back there. There's a koala right there. We should go see him. Okay. So we have some more koalas. He's all the way up there. He did lots of climbing. Yeah, there's one down lower up here. Yeah. It's like we got some little wallabies back here on this side. So this is like the area we just walked through and now we're walking up the koala. Yeah. Oh, hi. Oh, big stretch. Big poop too. Very good. Very good, yeah. Got him. He's rushing down. Where are we going? Going down to get a snack? I bet he's going down to get a snack. He's reversing into the food. <laughs> Looking for something just within reach. So we're by the dingoes now. And the keepers are... Do you think they're training right there? Is that what you like said? Like, like a keeper talk? Now we're in the bird aviary that we were in this morning on our tour. And it's supposed to be a gecko in here, but... He looks like a leaf, which might be really hard. Yeah. I can't see him. Should I keep going? Oh, we can see the pink though. Whoa, did you see that? <laughs> I have that on video. There's two. Their claws are so long. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of birds flying around us. Why are they doing that? <laughs> she said in the tour they'll swoop near you. Remember? Head down. Don't want my head to be taken off. <laughs> they fly so fast if they hit me, my head's gonna be off my shoulders. Completely off your shoulders? Yeah, our lyre bird's up there somewhere. Yeah, he's up there. He's making all kinds of noise this morning. So the aviary let us out by the red kangaroos. So they weren't out this morning because the keepers were cleaning. But now they are. Uh oh, nap time. <laughs> Basking so we're watching the Tasmanian Devil right now. Right in the back corner. Here we go. Where'd you go? So we're in the backyard buddies section. Farmyard. Oh, the farmyard section, not the backyard buddies. And we got alpacas. Over here we have some, some goats. There's a kawaka behind the plant, right? Oh, there's one. Yeah, yeah there it is. Where's the girl? Where's Hiding the behind the tree. 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 Can't see crockers. Can't see crockers in anywhere. I mean, apart from Zeus, of course. Then what next island? So we're by the echidnas now. 
He's got a bunch of stuff on him. What is he digging? He's eating. He's eating? I'm going to come over there. There he is. Oh, this one's up and moving now. Definitely just posed for me. Did he? Yeah. There he is. He's eating yeah, ant ice it. cubes. That's very adorable. Alright, so we're back in the Australia section. So we're heading back to the retreat to get our stuff. But there's a kookaburra with the kangaroos. Yep. And the wallaby. And a magpie. <laughs> 